Hey guys, you're watching Theo Joe Tech. I am Joe. Now, high definition cameras have been out for relatively not that long in the grand scheme of things, but you might have noticed that there are a lot of old movies, even back to World War II, that are released on Blu ray in full high definition. And you might have been wondering, how can they possibly do that? How can they release such old movies in high definition if HD digital cameras have only been around for 15 or 20 years? And the answer is actually surprisingly simple. You see, film, real analog film, has a higher resolution than most of the digital sensors that we have today. The standard film format for movies has been 35 millimeters since the early 1900s. It's a standard that's still used today. On film, this translates to about 24 millimeters by 36 millimeters of the frame on that film. Now you can't exactly convert analog film to a number of pixels because, well, there's no pixels in film. But the general consensus is that 35 millimeter film translates to anywhere from four to 16 megapixels, depending on the quality of the film. So why don't we go ahead and assume that a movie was shot with really good film and gets that 16 megapixels for each frame. Now that 16 megapixels translates to 4920 by 3264. That means that even really old film, assuming it was good quality and 35 millimeter, could translate to about 5K resolution in modern digital equivalents. Now obviously that's theoretical and that's the best case. And of course, if you scaled it up that big, it probably wouldn't look as good as a modern digital camera that has native 5K resolution, but still, you're getting a lot more information out of regular analog film than you probably thought was possible. Now, 35 millimeter film is actually the same size as modern full frame digital sensors, but there are actually bigger film formats. Have you ever heard of medium format or large format film, for example? Large format is anything bigger than four by five inches of film. Most of the stereotypical really old cameras where you see the bellows, it looks like an accordion, those were actually large format cameras where you'd put in a huge thing of film and take the picture with that way. Now, a lot of them that are really old, the first cameras, those actually didn't use film at all. Those used some sort of chemical process. So it's a little bit different. Really old photos that were embedded onto plates are probably not gonna have the super high resolution that modern film would. And today many professionals use digital medium format cameras that can capture images on the order of 7,000 by 5,000 pixels. That's about 40 megapixels and a lot of these cameras like Hasselblads can cost around $30,000 on the low end. But of course you can get a old medium format regular film camera for probably less than a couple hundred dollars. So maybe now you can appreciate that not everything old is bad and in the future we might even see some really old movies in 4K. Of course, some of the state-of-the-art cameras today are upwards of 8K resolution, but I don't think we're gonna see that become a standard in a very long time. So hopefully you guys thought this video was cool and maybe it answered a question that you never knew you had. So if you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to make more like this. And if you want, you can give some feedback in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to hear what you guys think about this. And if you want to subscribe, I try to make new videos three times a week, so it should be worth it. And you can check out some other videos on the right hand side, you can either click them or look in the description for the same link, such as if you're on a phone. You can also hit me up on Twitter. I'm always on Twitter, especially right after I release a video, but always all day anyway. So I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Have a good one.